What makes a life well lived? Is it having a bucket list of places to go and things to do before we die? Or volunteering on a weekly basis? Or finally, learning that skill that we have been putting off quite a while? These are great ideas on how to experience life. But we won't be able to experience life in its fullness if we don't know who we are. Wait, there is something better than skydiving? Welcome to the ICPA School of Mission Sabah series. And I'm Angeline Deep, and I'm here to walk with you about what School of Mission is. But first, let's pick up where we left off. St. John Paul II said, the fact that we are loved by God and when we return, we love Him, is what really matters in life. Everything else is secondary, and without Christ's love, nothing really means anything. And you know what's crazy awesome? Something within us strikes a chord when someone says anything good about us. It is as if we know that we are good because it's simply the truth. And something in us just cringes when, whenever negativity is around because it is not the truth. Unfortunately, we do not hear this truth enough and end up being completely unaware of our identity. So, if I am unaware that I'm loved by God and that I'm good enough and I'm worthy, there are really not much choices out there in the world. So it means that if I think I'm choosing anything in life, it still doesn't mean anything. I'm still not good enough. But when I know that I'm loved by God, I now have two choices. To live a life as a person who's worthy, or to continue living a choiceless life. I'm glad you're still with me. That's a reveal at the end of this video, but that's one last thing we need to talk about, which is entrusting God with our decisions. Yes. This God who we are trusting our decisions with is a God who is for us. Oh yes, He is. Many of us, including myself, had encountered Him as a faithful friend, a loving father, a provider, and a great encourager. Ultimately, He's the Father who calls us home, where we are always loved. And when we respond to his calling from our identity, there's where we allow God to begin his work of healing and transformation. And soon you'll find yourself transformed, wanting to share this love that is outpoured by God with everyone you meet. And hearts and lives will be touched by your openness to be a disciple of Christ. And the best thing is this journey is not one to be traveled alone. You can go through this part of your journey at the ICPE School of Mission Sabah, aka SOM Sabah, aka SOM Sabah. And this will be the second year it's running. I personally call it an incubator because it does exactly what an incubator do. It helps us grow deeper in our relationship with God. But I'm not going to be spoiling too much as there will be seven more episodes exploring SOM as a whole. The purpose of this series is to invite you to consider taking this big and rewarding step towards living a life well lived. Join me in the next episodes where we will be getting to know the people of SOM. That is all from me for now and I am extremely grateful for your presence. I'll see you next week.